Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today I'm bringing you a really cool lick in the style of John Petrucci, taken directly from Under a Glass Moon. The solo, as you are well aware of images and words, it's absolutely amazing, technically phenomenal, and utterly brilliant in every way. However, I am fascinated by one part, and it's the very start. And what I really love about it is how it combines several different techniques together and also it's something that I think you guys would find really useful and transferable which is something I try and convey with all of my licks that I teach you and what I'm going to teach you is this For this lesson I am using my Charvel DK24 2 point in primer grey loaded with Seymour Duncan full shred and custom flat strap pickups. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so we start off with a sort of standard issue rock lick here on a 12th fret where we have uh, the B string bent up a full tone and we keep the 12th fret of the high E string fretted. So but you give it vibrato. Instead of with your fingers, you do it with the whammy bar. You just, you're better off having a uh, recessed bridge here. In this case, we've got a recessed Goto 510, but Floyd works just as well. Okay. And then we have this little idea here. This is the little part I'm actually most fascinated by in this whole sequence, fully enough, sad oh me. It's this little part here. Well, if it actually is easier to do, the faster it gets when it comes to the harmonics. And what happens here is, you literally just do it like a galloping rhythm almost on the B string but we're sliding from the 14th fret down to the 12th fret then we're sliding to the 7th fret here slide up to the 9th and slide down to the 5th then we have this little lick here, I'm going to play this slowly for you I'll skip over to the A string there It's important there to keep that little bend there on the 6th fret of the G string a bit abrupt. It gives it a bit more of a percussive element to it. And then we have this little lick here, it's an octave thing. Okay, it's, uh, I'll play that slowly for you. Okay, and the way that works is you have the 16th fret of the high E string fretted, then you play 12, and tw then 16, 12 again on the B string. Then you play the same thing, just an octave lower. So it's uh, 13 on the G, 9 on the G, same again on the D string, then. So you've got 11, 7, and 11, 7. Keep that hammer on there as well. You do a hammer on from the 12, then to the 16. Then it's alternate picking for the rest. As you'll hear on the record, he actually changed pickups there, but I think that's when he's done it with a different take. He's actually recorded it in sections. Uh, it doesn't really matter as such. It's just uh, something to take note of, really. Uh, it's a good lick to use anyway, it doesn't matter, you can even do it slowly. See how I mean, it's a really transferable idea. And then we have uh, some really cool tasteful harmonics here, we have open E. There's the natural harmonic on the 7th fret, 5th fret and then 3rd fret and then we bring the bar down. And then a really tasteful pull-off idea on the B string here. Then a full step bend on the 12th fret of the B string to finish. And that's it. 
Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure to check out some of my previous lessons. Thank you very much. Goodbye.